Hey everyone, welcome back to my planner. This is gonna be my 2017 planner setup video. If you are new, my name is Ashley. I've been into planners for a long time and for the past few years, I've used Inkwell Press planners. I started out with their bound planners, which are gorgeous. And last year I tried out the A5 inserts. I just fell in love with inserts. I love the flexibility. I like to be able to add in my own sections. I also honestly really love dividers. I think finding dividers that I love is like one of my favorite things to look for on Etsy. And I also like to be able to switch out my binders depending on my mood. I have a couple more subdued professional ones like this black Kiki K. I also have a nude file effects. And then I have some fun ones like my floral one from Scooter Bug Corner on Etsy. So this planner is very much a work in progress. I'm trying out some new things this year, so it still has a ways to go, but I thought I would get this video up because people have been asking for it. So I'll go ahead and tell you what I have in the pocket so far. This inside flap is my favorite thing about Kiki K binders. I think they do it better than anybody else. I love this big slip pocket. I just have a couple note cards from friends. I also love the security of having one with a zip. There's another little flap. And then I have a couple decorations, a Rifle Paper Company gift card, some Kate Spade clips, and then this to-do pad came with the binder. So I'm gonna use this up and then once I'm through with this, I think I'm just gonna put one of the new Inkwell Press sticky notes right here. I think that would be really handy. Like I mentioned, I love buying dividers on Etsy. I purchased from a few different shops. By far, my favorite is Martha Plans, her Etsy shop. I think the paper that she uses is gorgeous and I also think the quality is great. I've never had any issue with any of the lamination peeling or anything like that. So I have two sets in here right now. I'll just do a little quick flip through, show you some of the patterns. I love this floral and then my favorite one I think is this glasses print. I just think that is too cute. So Martha plans for the dividers. In this first section, I have my contact information. Should something terrible happen and I lose this, hopefully a good Samaritan would see this and get it back to me. After that, I have important dates. This is where I keep track of my family's birthdays and anniversaries. This is great because when I go to fill out my monthly view, I flip back here, put in everybody's birthdays, and it just helps me start to be thinking ahead of whose presents I need to start working on. I always spend a lot of time on the goals page. I just really love doing this. And I love starting out with my mission statement. It's my same that it's been for the past few years. Live life with integrity, work hard, be mindful, express gratitude, and above all, love. And then one of my favorite things about Inkwell Press Planners is that the purchase of the inserts or the bound planner, whether you purchase online or in-store at Office Depot and Office Max, the purchase of a planner comes with six setup videos that are emailed to you. Tanya, who's the owner of Inkwell Press, she walks you through how to use the planner and then she has these little activities. And all the activities have a purpose. My favorite from this year was something called the life wheel. You went through the different aspects of your life and you rated yourself by filling in this wheel. And it was supposed to draw your attention to where you were feeling really strong and where you were feeling weak. So I use that life wheel to help decide where my biggest focus needed to be. As an example, let's say I felt really good about my relationships and not as good about work. So I would have some more work goals and these goals would all push me closer to feeling really good because you want your life wheel to be very even so that the wheels of your life turn smoothly, if that makes sense. The planner came with the titles filled out. So you have personal, social, health, and home. And I think these two were financial and dream big. I took Inkwell Press stickers and I covered those up so I could have one dedicated to work and then one dedicated to YouTube. Now that I'm done with my goals, the next thing I need to do is break them down a little bit. So as an example, I wanna read 40 books by the end of the year. So in the first quarter, I need to read 10 books. So that would be something I'll fill out. This page is new in the planner and I loved the idea of the daily habit tracker. I thought I had a good idea by using tiny little hexagons from an Etsy sticker shop called Lucky, but I've already run out of them. So I ordered some last night, so hopefully those will be coming soon, but I've been keeping track on a little separate sheet of paper. Above that, you have a place for plans. And I think this is gonna be something that changes from month to month. A big focus of mine in January is trying a new planning system. I think I got very comfortable with how things were going last year, but I wanna broaden my horizons. I do think things slip through the cracks with me. And so I'm hoping that the getting things done method by David Allen could be a way for me to solve that. So I took the time to write down his five main steps as well as a quote, your mind is for having ideas, not holding them. Across the page, you have the mission board, which is what I think Inkwell Press is probably the most known for. And I'll show you a blank one. This is February. So you can see that the hexagons have little titles. They're very easy to cover up if you want to personalize it with your own section. So I used a kit from Luckity and she has full pattern hexagons as well as ones with writing space. 
I try not to overload my mission board, but what I love is moving this page across from the mission board. I'm coming back to fill out the daily habit tracker every day. So it just keeps these very fresh and in front of me. So I'm more likely to be intentional every day. This is my monthly view and I use this for day and time specific events. So appointments, both personal and work, people's birthdays. I use some big stickers to draw my eye to big things. Like Jer wasn't gonna be here for my birthday so he had me take off work on Thursday. We took off together and spent the day together and it was just so fun. I also use strip stickers or washi tape to mark off big events. Like I have a work thing coming up this weekend. This area, I haven't figured out what I'm gonna use it for. You have a space for your top five as well as notes. In the past, I've used notes to write down the different YouTube videos I wanna do for the month, so I might continue doing that. This was last week and you might notice there's a lot more white space in my planner this year. All that information is somewhere. It's just later on in the planner, which I'll get to in a minute. Each week I go back and forth between using the boxes and covering them up. I covered them up last week, but I'm using them this week. And it just kind of depends on how I feel and how often we're gonna be eating at home. I'm trying to keep my week a little bit cleaner and use it for appointments and to-do list items that need to be completed on a specific day. I also placed a custom order from Luckity. I bought these page flags from Michaels and I thought, they were so cute. I just wish that they had been like full stickers. So I showed them to Katie, who's the shop owner. She came up with these, which I love, and they coordinate with the romance cake kit, which is what you see here. And I just think they're perfect. I also drew out this little sticker. I wanted a place to write out my video title as well as a reminder to share a picture on different social media. And she did something super cute. She used my handwriting as a font. If I had known she was gonna do something like that, I probably would have written a little bit neater, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it's adorable. Since I'm not keeping a long running task list on my weekly view, I asked for a shorter to-do list sticker. These I think came out perfectly. I'm gonna show you as we get a little bit further into the planner how I'm using those. This is what I have going on so far this week. I did decide to use the boxes. I'm using the top one for a house tour, the center one for dinner plans, the bottom one I use when I do the Pomodoro technique at work just to mark down how many Pomodoros I've done. It's just a time management technique. So this will start to fill up as I get further into the week. This area over here is probably gonna stay pretty bare. I have a three day event, so I used an event day sticker and then marked down the times that I'm working. One thing I like about the inserts is that I don't have to have the entire year in here at the same time. I just don't really have a need for that. So right now I have January, February, and March. And then in the monthly view of the upcoming month, I keep a sticky note or a piece of paper, just something to start writing down events so that this is right here whenever I go to fill out the monthly view. So the first tab after those months is for my inbox. And this is something I got from the getting things done method. This is a list of every thought that comes into my head that I wanna keep track of. If somebody pops their head into my office at work and asks me to take care of something, I write it here. And this is also completely unorganized. There's work things, personal home things, YouTube things. When I go to process this, and by process, I mean I take, I go line by line and I decide if it is actionable. And if it is actionable, I put it on a running to-do list. I have one for personal and YouTube things. And then I also have a section for work to-dos. This is the back page of my inbox. So as an example, on Thursday, I need to pick up some postcards I had printed. So while that technically is a to-do, do, I don't write it on the to-do list because it needs to be done on a specific day. So flipping back to the week that we're on now, if I go to Thursday, I've already written it down. I took it from my inbox and wrote it down here. So I know on Thursday, I must do that because it's tied to that specific day. So this system is very, very new to me. I haven't even completely implemented it yet. I still need to work on my project list. This is actually my second time filming this video. The first time I talked for 28 minutes about this and I just droned on and on. So I'm just going to stop it here since this is just a setup video. But if this ends up working out for me and you guys are interested, I can definitely do a dedicated video to using the getting things done method into a paper planner. I also have a section for YouTube videos. These are requests from you all, as well as ideas I've had myself. And these little flags are custom stickers that I ordered from Luckity. I used to actually stencil these in. I just thought it would be a lot easier to have a sticker. And I think she liked these so much that she's listed them on in her shop. So if you're interested, they should be up. The last section I have in my planner right now is for reference materials, just things I wanna be able to refer to and I wanna have on hand in my planner. So I've written out the Miracle Morning Routine by Hal Elrod in case I wanna look at that. I also have some notes from a work webinar about social media I listened to. And then one thing I think Jared and I might wanna do at some point this year is replace the railing in, in the front of our house. And a coworker gave me contact information of a company they recommended. So things like that is what I'm keeping in this reference section. So I'm feeling good about this system so far. The downside is 
that I've already gone through all of the extra note paper that came with the inserts. They don't sell any right now, which I hope changes in the future. But if you have any recommendations of paper, it doesn't have to be graph, I guess, just A5 size with hole punches please leave it down below. I'll probably end up just looking on Amazon or something. So in the back, I have a stencil that I ordered off of Etsy. And then I have a pocket from Filofax, which I ordered on Amazon. In here, I keep a ruler as well as any stickers I'm using for the current week. I also have a top loading pocket from the Filofax brand. This is like my physical inbox. If there's things I need to process, but I don't have time to deal with it right now, I just slip them in. I also have a larger inbox on my desk at work if people are dropping off invoices that need to be dealt with. So when I process that written inbox, I also process this as well as the inbox on my desk. And the last thing back here is a notepad that came with the binder and I'm just making myself some notes. Jer has a couple days off work this week. So if he said if there was anything I needed to get done around the house to let him know. So I've just been kind of thinking through that. As far as planner supplies, I already showed you that one stencil. I also have this one, which I ordered off of Amazon. I really like the size of the smallest circle. So I tend to use that one a lot. And then Michael's actually has really expanded their planning section. I already showed you these page flags and you might've seen these little ones back in my reference section, but I think those are adorable. And then Inkwell Press, I love these new post-it notes and they're actually made in collaboration with post-it brand. So the stickiness is much better quality than something you would find in like the target dollar spot. I'm trying to think of other questions people ask me. The pen I've been using for the last six months, if not longer, is the Pilot Juice. I love how little this lets me write and how neat it makes my handwriting look. As far as stickers go, I love stickers. I shop most often at Luckity. I just, I like her style and taste and she's also very quick when you wanna do custom orders. I also really like Knockout Print Shop on Etsy. I have some of her stickers on my desk. I just need to organize them and put them into my little sticker organizer. And then I just ordered some from Boho Berry. These are some time tracking ones I wanna start using. And then I honestly really like the Inkwell Press ones. They're just really handy and you know that they're gonna match because they're made by the same company. I think that's everything I wanted to cover. I'll try to link as much as I can down below. And if you have any questions, leave them in a comment and I'll do my best to get back to you. But I wish you each a very happy and productive 2017. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.